crack. What's good, bro? Oh man, oh man. Man, man. appreciate you dropping these shoes I off to you, me. I got you. I got you. Why? Why? Crack hills. Crack hills brings them. Here we go. What Here we got, bro? The best lot. Best lot. Best, best lot, lot. Right. Best lot ever. Let's check it out. Best bro. lot ever. Okay. Size nine. Size nine. Okay. Size nine. Check it out. Check it out. It's appreciate exactly you. what you told me to bring, bro. This is a this is a lot nine. Oh man. No, that's what you wanted. Nah, I wanted a lot one, bro. Lot one. I wanted a lot one. Damn, bro. I think we you might gotta, have one. You got to do better next we, time, bro. <laughs> we might have one for you. Maybe next time. Maybe man. next time. Maybe man, next time. I appreciate you, though. Man. All right. <laughs> man. Later. What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Wyatt, everybody's favorite. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thanks for tuning in again, supporting, subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff. But if this is the first time that you're watching any of my videos, smash that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell so you never, and I mean ever, miss any one of my videos just like this one. This is gonna be a super, super dope information, lots of information, a comparison of two highly sought out sneakers. Matt, what they gotta do, bro? Find that like button, click that like button. Yes, sir. It's free. It's free, it's free, it's free. unfortunately. I wish it cost money, but it's, it's free. Today it's free for everybody. Make sure you smash that like button. It does help the channel grow. And if you wanna know more about what I'm doing on my channel, these sneakers, all types of stuff, have any questions, make sure you follow me on IG at why everybody's favorite. But today, today's gonna be a good one, man. We have the Off-White Dunk Low, lot number one, real versus fake. Let's get right into it. So before we get into the video, shout out to my bro, Crack Kills. This video is sponsored by him, man. So shout out to him for providing me with this authentic pair of lot number ones, man. Make sure you go to his IG. So let's start right with the box. To me, that is the tale of all tales of this shoe. If you get a really good high quality pair of unauthorized shoes, it's gonna be small details. Like we're just picking out little small things. But the boxes, we'll just start with the boxes because they usually can't get the boxes right to save, their, to save their life. So the first thing I would say is there's no way that a size nine box is this small compared to a size 10 and a half, right? So I feel like the box size is, is way off. A couple other details you want to look at. As you see the black tape that goes around it, look at how deep and dark the black tape is, right? It's a lot different shade of black than this one. This one has like... It looks like it's a faded, it's more faded than this one, right? Yeah, it almost doesn't have that. It, it, it's almost a matte color below, and the top one has like a gloss on it. Also, look at the tag. Look at this sticker right here. It is different sizes. So it, this one's a lot more square and smaller than this bottom one. This is a lot longer. Um, and just make sure you look at the placements. Let's look at the lot numbers. So as you can see, this does list all your lots, 1 through 50. And obviously one has a check mark on it. It looks like it's, it was done by a marker. Your UA lots right now on the boxes, they're not really checking them off. I know this is a small detail, but it's something definitely to look at as you're going through some of these boxes. They don't have them checked off yet. I know it's easy as far as getting a marker and checking them off, but they're not even doing that, you know? So just pay attention to that also. Let's take a look at these information tags right there. As you can see, they are way off. Look at the uh, the title of both of them. What do they say, Matt? What does the top so, one say? Nike uh, Dunk. Nike Dunk Low, and then the uh, the UA says Nike Dunk Low Leather O W. Got you. So that's off. Very much so. Okay. Yeah. The top one's the real. The bottom one's the fake. Does the fake have a suggested or any type of retail price uh, on there? No retail price. What does the authentic say? It says white metallic silver butter. And then uh, the Spanish version of that, where the bottom one, the UA, says white silver. Gotcha. So that's a uh, that's a big red flag right there. So let's make sure that we're paying attention to the tags, the color codes, all types of stuff, the suggested retail. We haven't even gotten to like the sizing and the fonts or nothing like that. Like they're just completely wrong. Period. Now, I'm not saying a week from now, you know, they might they might fix this. You know, that's the that's the thing about with these UA shoes, like. Technically, me doing a video like this kind of helps them out, unfortunately, but I'm doing this for you guys so it helps you guys out and you guys can understand 
the difference is like we haven't even got to the shoes yet and we already seen red flags before we even open the box up and look at the tissue paper look at the coloring of the tissue paper look at the shoes we already like just by looking at these boxes like why would I, you know what I'm saying like we already found so many issues with the box why would we even look at the shoes why would you even want to buy the shoes now right because we already found all these issues with the boxes unless they're 20 bucks unless they're 20 bucks and they're going to the toe right so this is your authentic um, off-white tissue paper that comes in the box and let's take a look at the UA right it's uh, a lot longer and it's uh, a lot lighter it's definitely different um, so let's make sure we're paying attention to the tissue paper also and the feel and touch of it like it's just they're similar I'm not gonna lie but uh, the color tells everything so this is more like tissue paper the feel of this on your authentic um, this is more like a waxy tissue paper so inside the box there will be a green and white sticker right there also of your authentic and these UAs did not come with any type of stamping or sticker inside the box so just a plain box disclaimer before we get started I understand that there are really good pairs of UAs I know there's really bad pairs which I would call them fakes to be honest with you I wouldn't call them unauthorized shoes if you have purchased these shoes um authentic or even ua all the pairs are going to look different like the pair that i got from whoever i got it from is going to be different from the pair you got from somebody else so there might be some di there might be some better things that are on yours or there might be the same so i just want to make sure you guys know like i know i get some comments of well my pair doesn't you know my pair is better than yours and that's fine bro like Good for you. I'm glad that your pair looks better than this unauthorized. This is for the people that are spending hundreds and thousands of dollars on these shoes. And I don't want you guys to get beat over a pair because they are similar. You know, besides the boxes, once we get to the actual shoe, if you haven't touched the authentic, you would probably never know, just to be totally honest with you. That's how good they look. All right, here we go. Which one is authentic? Which one is fake? Let me know in that comment section right now. All right, so let's get right into it. Let's start right with this midsole, outsole, the colors, right? So on your, this right here is a size 10 and a half. This is a size nine. On your midsole, the color is off, right? This is like a, it's supposed to be like an aged midsole, um, but this one gives you a little bit brighter, more vibrant, color tone compared to this one this is a little bit more lighter looks a little bit more accurate as far as what an aged midsole would look like just to be totally honest with you see the difference see it matt mm -hmm. yeah the sure. one is a bit more muted correct where it says zero one of 50 let's take a really close look at that if you can get it it gives you like all your lots it gives you more like a tie-dye vibe on that zero one out of 50 or zero whatever lot number you have it's like, super zero. faint but yeah there's like it's, it's there, like right? it's there's got a like color. a purple veining yeah it's like uh i would say like, purple veins. it's really yeah it's really faint but it's something that you guys want to pay attention to unauthorized has nothing so it's just it's just solid gray solid gray yep so just pay attention to that um there are small details that you're gonna just want to want to pay attention because the shoes are super close like i said before in the video there's gonna be small details that might not mean a lot to people that are just getting these to rock on you know to rock every day on the on the on the foot but if you're spending hundreds and thousands of dollars to wear these and you're buying off you know you're not buying the real pair then this is what this is the video for you guys to be honest with you these numbers and letters right here on the side in that uh, metallic silver they're pretty similar as far as the font and how they look but once you actually rub your finger across them you're gonna feel like a more indented embossed uh vibe on that like on your unauthorized it feels like it's just there it's not really it's just printed on it's just printed on like they just print it they don't put any you know thought into it like the like the authentic pair and that's even for the flip side of it um, it's the same type of feel. You want to make sure you can actually feel it. Like it's indented, embossed a little bit in the shoe. This one doesn't have it. Also the lettering, it shouldn't be like fading away or anything like that. It should be, you know, pronounced. It's not going to be super, like super bright metallic silver on it, but it's still going to be able to read it. And it's not going to look like it's like fading away. I mean, on the unauthorized right here, the lettering is kind of like, some of it's good, some of it's bad. It looks like it could just rub away. So this infrared hit right here, they have a little tag right there. 
the sizing is going to be different. So your authentic is going to be a little bit more smaller than the actual unauthorized right there. Like it's, it's really hard. Like you have to really look at it, but this looks a little longer than this one. It's in the right place, but it's just a little, the sizing's off. Also, the shoes don't come with extra laces, guys. Like these come with like, it looks like the regular SB rope laces with the unauthorized. Um, they're not gonna come with any extra laces. The shoes, they give you the all white laces and then the, um, the overlay laces on these also. So no extra laces. That's definitely a red flag. If you were gonna give that uh, UA pair a great Yep. Comparatively to that, to the other pair. Boxes are horrible. Like the boxes that. Okay. Like, um. So let's do two. Let's do And two it's not breaks. like the box is damaged. You know what I'm saying? Like, the box is in decent condition. So the box is like zero out of 10. I would say the box they did like a three. Okay. Right? But there's this like, you could, there's like dead giveaways on the box. Okay. On the shoe. The shoe's pretty decent. I feel like it's only gonna get better, unfortunately. Um, the shoe, zero out of 10, I would do the shoe seven. Okay. A seven, a high seven on the shoe. Yeah, and if you're- It's close, but it's not close, you know? Yeah, Especially the dead giveaway is your midsole. That aged midsole just kind of throws off the shoe. If, if you know what an authentic looks like, it's just it's just too bright. So I, I think what, could be the dead giveaway if you're out there trying to buy a pair um is where it says that that lot 50 one of 50 you have to look in there and look for that like purple veining right because that's going to be something very hard to recreate and that's something that you know was so subtle that you know you can pick a pair up right away and know that that's not that's, that's a good point that's the one i would i would look for if you're out there looking and the lettering on the side yes the metallic lettering like you want to make sure it's it feels good it's not like a super smooth, like you're gonna feel the lettering as you go through with your finger. Exactly. Um, on both sides. So on this side right here and on the inside of the shoes. So that's a wrap on the Nike Dunk Off-White lot number one comparison, real versus fake. Again, shout out to my bro Crack Kills for supplying me with this authentic pair, man. These, these off-white, you know, lot numbers are not easy to get, especially some of your like one in 50 and I think there's like 48, there's like a 43 or something that was only like an Asia or something exclusive that a lot of people are wanting. Hopefully everybody enjoyed this information video and they got something out of it. Like I said, this is not a perfect shoe. You might have a better looking shoe than I am. At least we have an authentic that we can compare and contrast the differences, the similarities. So you guys do know if you do wanna go out and buy an off-white lot number one, so. This is for you guys. If this is the first time you're watching any of my videos, smash that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you never, and I mean ever, miss any one of my videos. Matt, what they gotta do, bro? Find the like button, like the like button. Yeah, it's, it's, it's free. You know, only, only for this video, it's free. At any other videos, once you hit the like button, we're gonna charge you, so. Sorry. Also, follow me on Instagram at Wyatt, everybody's favorite. Thanks for watching everybody's favorite. I'm Wyatt, everybody's favorite. Woo!